In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll be showing you how to install a GlowShift dual wideband gauge into your vehicle. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. Start by unboxing your dual Y-band gauge and its accessories. For safety, disconnect the negative battery terminal before starting any work on your vehicle. We recommend lifting the car off the ground to make it easier to access the exhaust midpipe. Be sure the exhaust is cold or has completely cooled before starting installation. Unbolt the midpipe and remove it from the vehicle. Before drilling, place the bung six inches after the exhaust ports, but located directly before the catalytic converters and mark the locations. You want to make sure the bung is angled a minimum of 10 degrees upward to ensure any moisture will drain from the sensor. Begin drilling until the hole is wide enough to fit the sensor and test fit for clearance. Once the hole is drilled, fully weld the bung onto the exhaust pipe and test fit the sensor for clearance. Repeat the process for the second bung on the opposite exhaust pipe. After the weld spots have cooled, reinstall the mid pipe onto the vehicle. Once the mid-pipe is reinstalled, place the sensors into the bungs and tighten. Secure the excess wire so that it's away from the exhaust and any moving parts. Connect the sensor harnesses and route the wires to the firewall, making sure they stay clear of the exhaust and any moving parts. Once the vehicle is back on the ground, pull the wires through the engine bay and feed them through an open grommet in the firewall. For this installation, we're adding the dual wideband gauge to an existing gauge setup. However, this gauge can be installed by itself. Remove the pillar pod and route the single connector end of the Y harness to the gauge location. Route the other end of the Y harness to where you'll be placing the gauge control boxes. Reinstall the pod, connect the gauge, and place the gauge into the pod. Remove any panels necessary for gaining access to an open location for securing the control boxes and any excess wiring. Plug the connectors into the designated locations of each control box. Verify that all of the wiring is correct.
Clean up any excess wiring using zip ties. Place the wiring and control boxes in an open location in the vehicle's paneling and secure with zip ties, ensuring that it stays away from any moving parts. Reinstall any paneling that was removed. For this installation, we'll be using expandable circuits to power the gauge, which can be purchased from our website. Connect the red wire from the power harness to a fuse location that receives 12-volt power only when the vehicle's ignition is turned on. Next, connect a second expandable circuit to the orange wire from the harness and place in a fuse location that receives 12-volt power only when the headlights are turned on. Finally, connect a ring terminal to the end of the black wire from the harness and secure to a reliable grounding source. Reconnect the negative terminal on the battery and verify that all wiring is correct. Power your gauge to ensure that everything is working properly. Your gauge should immediately begin the startup and calibration process. A 30-second warm-up will be displayed on screen as a scrolling graphic before the gauge will start to display a reading. You've now successfully installed your GlowShift Dual Wideband Gauge. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAUGE and we'll see you on the road.